Hello guys, and welcome to Hollow Hall's Kindle Waste. I thought, uh, now that I've been through it a couple of times, I'd do a little video, at least for Malie, to show how we can do it. Uh, and I'm going to try and not cheese it too much, but I will cheese parts of it. And that's just because some of the encounters are just ridiculously hard. Um, but, but a few tips before we begin. It's a good idea to bring potions. I didn't bring that many, but I'm counting on finding uh, some here. I would suggest you destroy urns and all that, because they contain often contain um, potions that you can bring with you. Especially the, the revitalizing ones are very nice once we encounter the Cyclops. Also, if you can get hold of them, these greater skull summoning vessels and the necromancers are just plain amazing. And you might think, okay, but I'm not a caster, so why would I be using that since it costs mana? Well, you will be using that, trust me. Because if you drop 10 of these around a Cyclops, it's going to take him down really fast. So you, you're going to save mana potions as well. Got some urns here, and like I said, don't have to destroy all of them, but you know, just to make sure you get at least some potions. Because it will be a bit hard to finish without potions, in my opinion. At least when you're a melee fighter. Um, because you often get caught in, in groups where they really slam damage down on you very harsh. First room here, just head straight into the fray. And just shift uh, at focus of attack. So you can kind of just jump from one to the next. Then they won't really harm you, so... That wasn't too bad. And depending on my mood, in the next room... Sometimes I just fly over them because really I just want to get to the boss or to the... Uh, special material and all that. So sometimes I really just fly past, but let's just do it this time, right? If you get a head start on these guys, they're not too bad, but if you let them clump up like this... They can overpower you. So try to get the head start, and then use this focus shifting thing, where you kind of jump from one guy to the next, because then you move around and that forces them to break off their own attack, so it kind of helps. Uh, don't use two-handers on these guys, then they will kill you, <laughs> because your swing time is so slow that they'll break it almost every time. Oh, we got a dog. Down it goes. And of course you can always just take the uh, the healing things. Oh, we just gotta put this on. I forgot, totally forgot. I didn't bring any fire. What's it called? That one that increased spell power. That would have been useful, but now it is what it is. You see, I just zoom around like this. And it helps avoiding the bulk of the damage. And of course... These should always be a priority, because they spawn new in. So just get it down as fast as you can. Uh, while also dealing damage to the NPCs around you. We've got one more over there. I'm just going to take this guy out. Then we're going to go. And I actually think blunt weapons might be better for this for spawning thing, but I haven't really tested it. In general, I think blunt is better for bone against bone than uh, sharp, so it seems to work fine now. So, let's go up here. Sometimes, I did find that in another uh, hollow, that up here in these little mountains or piles here, they have hidden stuff. We're gonna put on this. I don't have any wisps, you see. Uh, there's a hole here. Actually, one time I found a spot just by pressing E by accident, and I was grappled up to a hidden room. That was interesting. Oh, there's a platform here. Oh, it's just that one. But I, I, the reason I'm here now is because I, I just want to make sure that we're not missing anything, because I haven't tested or looked for anything here yet. But there can be stuff here, so... It doesn't seem like it here. Yeah, let's just skip this one. Nothing here, nothing there. 
Back to the one-handed maze. Where did I put it? Here. Unfortunately, it didn't max your ability on this. It's a bit low. I like this. I don't know. It's only 30, but it does matter. This is also a great weapon. Uh, but Rail Rift is level 30, so yeah, obviously it's going to be better. Let's see if we find uh, an animal here soon. Just going to put on the other one. Because we're going to break that one. These guys are brilliant. So get them down fast. Whoops. Intentional. And this is also another way, if you have the double jump ability, to actually push them back. If they're about to overpower you. Oops. You can see their attack breakers, all of these guys. Really annoying. Okay. We got the cast up there we really want to take care of. Especially those green skulls that he throws are pretty dangerous because they do a lot of damage and they kind of stay back from the main group. Like that. And make sure to, if you're not going to loot, at least loot the casters because they, they drop the vessels. Oh, I'm forgetting the spawning points. Let's just go and get that. Nah, it's pretty much the same as so a sharp, blunt, doesn't matter in terms of destroying the spawn point I see now. I gotta go and get this one as well. It seems to do great damage on the skeletons at least. Bandages are also welcome, but I didn't bring any stuff to make them. Did I find any yet? I did have a few. Saving the uh, healing potions. Not a spawning point. Oh, with nasties. Not too bad because you can see they kind of struggle to get at you because of the uh, spawning thing. So yeah, you can kind of use that as a defense mechanism. Nothing in... Oh, we got another one. Just get it down. This also makes life a little easier. If you do die, then you don't have to worry about too many spawns. Okay. Let's just pull them here. I usually do that sometimes, just to, you know, position myself a little bit better. You can see they are crazy, this group. Then we can use this, kind of break them apart. And then consider getting away. We got two more there of the vessels. Oh, we didn't realize we had that guy still. I haven't found a good way to counter in this because they don't respond to slam and they don't respond to double jump, so that's a bit troublesome. Okay, let's just do this. I uh, hope there's an animal. There is, if I remember correctly, there's an animal in the next room. Whoops. Did I forget a spawn point? I might have. They were usually positioned differently, these guys. I remember now. So that's uh, interesting. They kind of hid inside the piles, didn't they? Which they usually don't do. So we're going to go up here and get a little bit of distance to them. We can just heal up. 
And then, hopefully, using two handers in here, I only do uh, by double jumping. Like this. Because the swing time is too slow. Otherwise. See? They break it every time. Now I can't even get out. Oh, that's bad. Ah, stop that. See, that stuff with the head bone is quite powerful. Uh, let's see here if I can quickly do that. Otherwise, we might have to revert back to one hand just for this fight. Just get some distance on this guy, and then we're gonna put this one in for a few hits. You can block his hits, but on the second hit you have to go back, because otherwise he's gonna swing past your shield. And kind of hook you. Yep, going down here. And I think that was all. No, not all of them, but most. I think these guys we can just uh, double jump. Uh, lucky guy. There we go. That's the thing with two handers, right? Every hit becomes crucial and they're hard to control, so... But it worked. Okay. But usually that group I just killed here, they're standing right here in the open, so you can kind of spot them from a distance. I just forgot. Um, so that, that was interesting. <laughs> okay. Is that a closed one? No. Let's get in here. Let's see if we get to the... Ah, it's not yet. It's probably first, not, not until the next. Okay, so here's the thing with this place. This has bugged out on me so many times. It's almost, you know, I'm <laughs> at the point of deep frustration when I'm uh, done here. Um, and what I've been doing is actually just to keep myself make things easier for myself a little bit is to take out at least some of these bugs. I hate beetles. I think that's so annoying. Um, and even if you can just wound them, you don't have to kill them. But you can see they will come at you once you hit uh, damage them. That's because once we jump down, we will encounter a full group. And I didn't bring any potions or anything, so... That'll be an interesting fight. Well, my aim is off. There we go. And just a few more. Thing that will do because most of these will then die in one swing so there will come mobs from over here and there will also be over here the interesting ones over here you don't have to fight both sides because once you clean the right side you can just swoop past the, the left side all the room bearing mobs over here that's basically it but sometimes it bugs and we can just take it from that point if it happens I'm just gonna fly down and land right here. And this time, since my weapons are nearly broken, I have to double jump. 
and finish them like this. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. You can see it's not too hard of a battle, a fight, but it would have been if you had been facing uh, the other side as well at the same time. Silly caster, get away from me. I failed to see, did the barrier uh, open? Okay, so while we, until we figure that out, we can just check here, I'll show there's a hidden door. If you break this thing down, it's not particularly interesting, so I hope they eventually do something about it. Uh, and make it more interesting, because in here you can see there's a stair down. And basically, there's a chest, but every time I've been here it's been a common. This time uncommon. Whale Rift, so it's a weak version of the one I have. Better than nothing, I guess. Um, but yeah, it would be lovely to see some actual legendaries in here. In a dungeon as big as this. Oh, this guy is annoying. We can take him with the normal weapon. He's just an archer. Ah, bad weapon of choice. This is hollow, so I could have used the other one with much greater effects. So, just simply... Oh, snap. This has changed. How convenient that once I want to show you this, it actually changed it. These two room guys were also up on the group on the staircase, where we just cleaned. So that's uh, quite annoying. So apparently they, they speed them up a little bit. Very unlocked. Sometimes this will bug, so even when you kindle, kill the last guy, it, it will still remain closed, and then you can just pickaxe your way through here. At this point, just pickaxe your way through the wall. Takes some time, but it works. So, let's get into the spawning point here. And the anvil. Great. And then we can put them like that one, and then we can crush these guys as they come. But they decided to skip. Okay, great. Um, let's get through here. First flight. This is actually pretty easy once you have learned it. Um, so you, if you can tell, depending on how good the footage is, there's a dark shade here and there's a kind of an outline here. You want to fly in between these, these two. And you want to kind of jump and wait and then fly and then slowly trim a little bit down because then you stay above this uh, frame, kind of frame thing. And then you land here. This is a safe spot, so you can just take it easy. Then either you can continue going this way towards the first another encounter, or you can go through here. There's a little secret place. Sorry I didn't bring wisps, um, but I did bring my axe. And uh, just, you know, just, uh, wiggle your way through here. And you got yourself a hidden door into a room with a chest. Shepherd staff, 25 uncommon. Well, a bit boring. And of course, pick up um, all runes and all that. This is just a book, it's not a quest item. Got a few urns here. I keep saying runes, I mean urns. And what do we have up here? Nothing. Oh yeah, bone throne. <laughs> a crypt throne, I think it's called. And the other hidden door here takes you in here. And again, wiggle, wiggle. And this little place here doesn't really hold anything. I think there's a little bit of a story attached to it, or meant to be. Um, but it's just corpses, right? guys either trying to escape or trying to fend something off but I did try and excavate this a little bit and there's nothing out there as far as I can tell so yeah I just wanted to show you so back up again I hope eventually they do put something in like a chest special chest or something wiggle wiggle back out don't have to close it but yeah uh, anything here nope nope Good, that's it, that's this secret place. 
so we can move onwards. So we have another flight. This one is a bit more tricky. We can't really see it properly, but there's an outline, kind of an opening here. At this point, okay, what you want to know if you haven't already tried it, is at the end of this flight, there is a boss fight. And this one is a bit annoying, and I will probably die. Um, but yeah, you can't really land on the platform without starting the fight. So that's very inconvenient. Even if you die, you should be prepared to pick up your stuff and run around immediately. What I tend to do is I, if I can, I try to land on a ledge. There are ledges on the, the right side, and there are also pillars in the, not the middle of the room, but you know, towards the center. And if you can land on those, uh, they have ledges around them. You can actually stay out of harm's way, and if you, that's why you bring bone arrow, giant bone arrow, because then you can take out as many as possible before you engage the boss. Um, but let's just do it. And I tend just to jump and fly immediately. And just trim down a little bit and around. Trim down a little bit and stay up. You can see here, ledge. Oh, I landed on it. Perfect. Let me just show you. See, there's the mobs all over the place here. And once you uh, anger them or, you know, trigger them, the whole room is triggered. Which is super annoying. And the boss, he's not triggered yet, but he will be in like 5-10 seconds. Uh, or at least as soon as you start killing these guys. But I haven't found a way yet to actually engage them in a proper way. Without dying too many times. And you can't finish the boss without destroying these uh, summoning pits. Th that would be an impossible fight, basically. So, take out the casters so they stop throwing those green skulls. And good thing about being up here is you've got lots of heads throughout opportunity. The uh, summoning pits I'll just jump down and destroy by hand. Hey, the boss is angered. And he shouldn't be able to hurt harm us up here, the boss at least. And you can see the casters do, uh, do, do scan. <laughs> and that's why we take care of those immediately. Yeah, stupid casters. Okay, where is he? I think he's on there. Careful he, you don't get pushed off by his spell. And this will take some time and it will regardless, you know. Uh, I do want to try something because I did read one post that said uh, as Malie you're supposed to hug his feet hug the feet of the uh, boss because then he has a harder time swinging at you he does some nasty swings and uh, impales you whoops that was actually an accident and right what oh my god I'm caught inside I'm stuck how inconvenient can life be there we go. Thank you, boss. You can see these are also uh, attack breakers, so... Just wanna get these destroyed now. And boss is here, so if I can just... Get one destroyed before I die, that would be just perfect. Be careful of angering this uh, sky guy up here. Okay, we got one down. Get away. Skellies. If we can just get that other summoning thing down. I will accept that. Almost got it. Come on.
And the thing is, he has a hard time hitting you while you're in the air. Okay, so that's the worst part. Oh, <laughs> not really, but it helps getting those away. Whoops. Thank God for flying. Oh, that was stupid. I don't want to go this way. Okay, Scarf Guy is cool already, so we don't really have a much choice here. There we go. First death. It's okay. Let's just do it again. Trim down a little bit. Just weave in and out. And then pull up. And this pillar here, for example. See? This is a nice spot. Let's see, where do we have any? We have our guy over here. And since we killed the uh, portals now, we're in a better position. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you can't hit me, can you? Get him down before he casts that white spell again. There we go. Oops. That takes care of those two. We have a group around here. bound to happen at some point. Okay. Again, take care of the casters. Oh, no. Actually, here, you might, if you can, if you can, you know, try to loot the casters. Oh, dear. Because they might have summoning vessels. And a wisp. Here, a little wisp. Just kite people around a bit here. Seems confused. Whoa, that was close. Almost take care of that. Wow, they hurt a lot. Wow, I killed him and regained health just as I died. That was unusual, never tried that before. Funny how the uh, sound came before the animation. Oh, yeah. Got him down. Us. So you kind of take it in, you know, death by a thousand cuts kind of way. Slowly, steady. Whoops. This is bad. Oh, we got that scary guy here. Cast one more wisp. Need to save up some stamina to get away. And the time when he cast that floor thing is also the time when you have a little bit of time to kind of bandage and all that. So we're getting better in health. Wisp was doing his job to kite him. Now we need to take this guy out. Boss is just waiting a bit. Oh, get away. 
Oh, that was close. I think we can actually just take the minion with the wand now. Perfect timing. He's stuck. Perfect. Good. How many we have? Only have four summoning vessels. I would love to have more actually. But they will help. So let's see. Do we can we loot anything more? We can loot this. Didn't have anything useful. Maybe here. No? No? He's just one. Well, we will make do. It will just take a little bit longer. Full health. We got placing skin going. Do we have any bone charges? Nope. Don't bother with acid breath. Since nerf, it's become ridiculously bad. So if I can keep a distance, we can always shoot the arrow because the wand is not that useful from a distance. So what I'd like to do is place myself here on the stairs. And then... We have the wisp. I really want these guys. And then you just fly across and go back and forth. And two reasons to do this is because then you can kind of force him into the um, the vessels so they can hurt him but also you can drain him slowly so a few few hits one then fire above him across the other side do it all over again see the vessels are doing their job get one more that almost went wrong because i pushed the wrong button And his eye is vulnerable place. Then we get across here. Oops, stay out of this. See, we all already got him over halfway, and the vessel is still going. At least one of them, he yeah, died now. Whoa, that was almost too late. Oh, we got one vessel still. And if you have the Solar Strike uh, enchantment on, that also helps, of course. Come on. Oh. Whoa, oh, that was an extremely unlucky hit. Normally I haven't seen him hit me in the air. So now it's just, you know, patiently getting him down. Don't try to rush it, don't take any stupid chances at this point. Say two more crossings, then we got him. Mm. 
There we go. Mini boss down. And we didn't get... We got a blue silver shot bow, so it's not amazing. Um, as far as I remember, this door is... Locked. Just locked. So it might be something they add later. You could also... Oh, it has buttons. I actually only just noticed that. <gasps> wow. Here's to me not paying attention, right? What's in here? Hopefully not another boss. Let's go. Spill by the boots. Bit disappointing. Oh, especially because now we have more mobs. Ah, run away. I don't want to fight them, to be honest. Just want to get out. They probably don't have anything to offer. So we're just going to go through to the next spawn point. And... If it does bug out this place, or if you die and you're like, oh, I can't bear it, you know, just land again next to the barrier and chuck yourself up against the wall. On the other side, it will be similar to standing like here and just pickaxe your way into the wall. Eventually, you'll get deep enough and you'll get past the uh, barrier. Um, they're probably going to fix that at some point, I, <laughs> I imagine, but I hope they don't because since the place is so buggy at the moment, it can sometimes be the last resort. Uh, instead of having to restart the dungeon. I did that two times yesterday and it drove me mad. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Nothing exciting, no potions? How inconvenient, we got a bandage. Placing skin. Oops. Ah, the stamina thing again. Don't have any food. Oh, we got a little revitalizing one. That was the other one side like. I might just put that instead of bones. And what else? What else can we? Nah. This works decently in some cases. Whoops! It was equipped. Good, so you can actually, the first few items here you can destroy and take. As soon as you pull the chest, I'll show you in a minute, you will also pull the mobs. So that's uh, the price or the trigger point. Um, and just trying to find potions. So once we cross this area here, they will come. But you can get this. And then quickly get over here. Oh, we got a vessel, that's good. And then you're facing <laughs> a huge stack of mobs again. Jump. Because these are attack breakers. Wow. Oh, uh, out of stamina. Kind of push them away from you and do maximum damage. Let's see how many times I got broken there. What are you standing there for? Oops, remember to look casters because vessels. Again, shifting my focus a little bit here. from them. Okay, that's the first wave. Now the, uh, the end boss, or the boss way is to the right left. Let's go to the right. Ah, shouldn't take that. 
just waste of space. They put experience scrolls in here. Just want to have a look here, see if there's any possibility that this could be a doorway. It doesn't seem like it. Oh! A voluntary fighting. Oh, there's something pleasing about destroying as many skeletons in one go. Oh. The weapons just, you know, break so fast. These high end ones. Okay. Um, let's just, yeah. Especially that's the reason also to get the <laughs> the chests. Those vessels are so powerful. Oops. Oh, well, nothing. And the last one. Okay, let's just recharge the stamina here before we go in. Oh, we actually got a backspace. <clears throat> let's throw away some stuff. Again, go to the um, spawning thing, get that down, using it as a bit of defense, will make life easier on you. The side. Oops. Potions. Well, and we got the spinal axe, which I mean, I will just take it because we know we salvage it. And in case something breaks and we can't repair, that's nice to have an extra one. one and we go this way here the thing is if you don't want to fight this you can basically from this spawn point here you can just glide and glide glide past all of them glide 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 and then go to the next door. It might cost you your life, but if you don't want to spend time all doing all this fighting, that's what you can do. Um, the way you could do it, actually, you could kite them back to this area here, and then the door is clear, and you have enough time to open it before they reach you. So that's one way to do it. Uh, let's get this. Ah, oh, only marble. Let me 
see if I remember correctly. I think it might be this end. We can just check it really fast. Where there's a hidden um, little room up top. So kind of you doggies to wait. I love that. Good doggy. Okay, so let's move over here. I think I might want to use my old axe as a light source. And as you get up here, wasn't it here or was it somewhere else? Ah, was it another dungeon even? Maybe it was nomads, I can't remember now, but when maybe if it is nomads in one of these piles, no, it's here. So when you find this candle, press E to grapple up. There we go. We've got the ornate woodbow epic level 25 for salvage, I guess. Uh, just loot here. So yeah, hidden chests. Just look for the candle. I really need an animal now. Okay, next door. This is, uh, it takes a bit of time to, that's why you want to kite the mobs back. So when you get in here, you can also just bypass these guys. But they're so easy to kill, so why not do that? Because then we can check the uh, tombs as well. The last one. Good. Open this. Another media thing. And oh, I've got arrows. I can always use those. And let's kill these. So much marble. Good. You could just drop down and just fly here and in the last minute. That's one way to do it. And here you can just drop down there. Uh, this is a safe spot. Media route again, and until here, this is where you start encountering stuff again. I'm just gonna use this one now and go in here because we got a lot of these little guys here. Just to clear those out. Uh, I haven't tried digging too much here, so I don't know if there's anything here. You are more than welcome to try that. I just like to kill these because I find they are very inconvenient to work with. The next room is going to be fun, but we're just going to clear this as well. So we get no surprises. Destroy that. Easy peasy. Nothing. Okay. So this room here is full of weaklings, if I remember correctly. So, we're gonna have some fun. Please drop a like and smile if I survive this. Like and smile? What the fuck? <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, look at this. This brings me back to uh, World of Warcraft times. Jump! Fire! Wow, that was a nice stand on top of you, kill you all move. Am I gonna do this without getting a scratch? No, I should not have said that. I jinxed it. Two scratches. Unfortunately, they don't have anything interesting to offer, so I don't want to loot these. It's just spores and, you know, the kind of thing you we found in the early game. So yeah, that was just a slaughterhouse kind of boost our morale, I guess. <laughs> okay. Next door. Open. Uh, 
and a few. I didn't actually ever go up here, so I don't know if we have anything hidden here. Apparently not. But now it's been checked. There's an unusual small amount of potions this run. I usually find, or have been finding, a lot of healing and mana. But this is just not very helpful. <laughs> this is a safe space. Um, I did try and run out here and see if there was anything interesting. Only found death a few times uh, because of the deadly shroud. And you, every time you, yeah, you know the drill. Once you try to land on these, you just make a somersault and <laughs> tumble down the sides. But uh, if you want to give it a go, you can take a shortcut and that's going up here and then jumping across and then continuing up. Then you can kind of get over the fence up there. But you will end up the same place by going through here. You just have to fight off, off a few beetles. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. So with my luck, it will probably take longer to go over the top. Just taking a few urns here. And you can already see one beetle there. There are two or three more. We can actually just use a fire wisp, couldn't we? There we go. Then he can take care of it for us. Come on. There are three of the fire beetles, the rest are normal. Good job, Wisp. Whoops, I lied, that's four. It's so, so good, this little Wisp. So yeah. Then you want to go here, to the right. And then use weapon again, I guess. Whoops. Let's remember to take these. And we go. Oh. Did it spawn here and there? So, if you don't not ready for combat, just don't just rush in here. There will be another group here. Um, I just want to check out. There we go. So these are room guys, but what you could do, isn't it here? Let me see. Is it not here? There is a place where you can kind of uh, cheat your way around actually to save some... Uh, it's not here, is it? It's further. We'll just take these guys. They're not too tough. What is tough is there might be dragons in here and a flying lady. So I usually just try to smash as many as I can now. By shifting focus if I'm allowed to. And then going outside again. Because I feel like I have more control out here. But these guys just need to be handled. Oops. Ah, no vessels. Too bad. 
Okay, sometimes one guy linger back. The barrier is still close. Oh, he's here. Very unlocked, right? So what can happen here, as with any of the barriers in Kindleways at the moment, unless they fixed it, I don't know if they did, but it can remain up. And it did happen yesterday to me, and what I did is again, just pickaxe through your wall here. Then you can get past the barrier without uh, having to kill anyone. Because they won't, uh, even if they respawn, they won't open the barrier if once it happens. Which is immensely annoying when you got, get this far. Okay, let's uh, save some stamina. Because we gotta climb up here. Oh, revitalizing, good. And then we got the final spawn point. Which of course also, oops, also means we are close to the end. Again. You will appreciate going through your ends unless you brought all the things yourself. So that's up and running. We can repair. I think I'm gonna stick with this ma mallet type. And with these guys here, once it shoots, start walking. Whoops, that was a bad choice. They are at the time I was a bit off here. <laughs> wow, nice example, right? Let's try it again. I think I was too close. So kind of here, shoot, shoot, walk. They changed the timing, I think. It worked yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. Do whatever fits <laughs> your choice there. Good. Um, this place. It looks terrible. And it is. You are gonna... Yeah, well, it's not the worst, actually. But if you can see down there by the third flame. One, two, three. That's the door. You want to aim for that. Um, just try to not hit the... The... Uh, what's it called? This room thing. Mycelium. And here we have another room. Oh yeah, here's the flying lady. But these are so easy to kill the first guys, and then we can deal with her later. Just uh, if she starts hitting you, go outside and wait for her to come to you. Then she's pretty easy to take with uh, a wand or arrows. Just hide out here. She doesn't do too much damage. She's one of the... Uh, Outside dungeon type NPCs, so yeah, that was pretty easy. See, nothing exciting from her. Oh, this guy's annoying. Come here. Come here, you. Plain arrows, iron arrows. Better than nothing. Guess that's it. At this point, we're gonna come to some spawning beetles, I think. Yeah. And uh, you could just bypass them, including these dragons, you know, continue up. I'd like to do that and actually kill them, because then you don't have to worry about them if you die and then come back and you have minus another place. So basically just get rid of them in the first place, right? Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Did he just bug? I think he just bugged out. Oh. Oop, no more beetle. Okay, jump. Oh, two rattalizing. They were just holding out. So, at this point, try to stay away from the door if, unless you want to start fight. 
Because, you know, I have no need to pick every fight, so just jump up here. And this time we're gonna go round. Round, round we go. Just keep going round. They won't follow you. Then you come over here, and then you bypass them. You can just hold yourself here. Otherwise you would come out of this door after the fight. And I don't see reason to do that. Um, okay. And actually now I think I forgot to show you something, but we can... Is it... Oh, it's this place, isn't it? Um, so... Actually, we needed to do something at the bottom. And let me see, can we do that from here? Or should we go down? Let's go over first, then we can have an overview. So, this is a Tarzan swing. It sometimes bugs on the first one, I don't know why. So if you just shoot, and if you fall, just immediately shoot again. This time it worked, thankfully. Good. See, there's a grappling point here. And that becomes uh, important in a moment. So we gotta go up here. Anything? Nope. And then wait for stamina, otherwise you're gonna fall. <laughs> la 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 la. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. So once you get up here. This is where you find the last recipe. Now, you have two choices. And those choices are... At the bottom of this tower, as you can see, to open it, it requires... A button push. And I totally forgot that. But it's actually down here at the bottom. Um, so yeah, you can either choose to go down, and then go up again, because it's supposed to be right here. So you, you see, that was... A little bit inconvenient having to do that, go back down, but we can, you know, easily get back up, so... It's not the end of the world. And that opens the door into the recipe. If you don't want to go down here, you could also just pick extra wave. Uh, besides, great. Uh, until they fix it, the walls... ...can be pickaxed, so, yeah. Let's just get up there. Was this the room? Yeah, it was. Get up here. All the way around. Over here. Get the stamina back up because you needed to grapple. here like we did before of course and let's jump okay so door open simply yeah you know just run across there are no enemies in here and the one you get in here is the crypt book rest of course, I already have it, so yeah, it's not gonna show. And there are no hidden doors here, as far as I could tell yesterday. Okay, we do have seven and nine skull vessels, so we're gonna be fine. Last part. Once you 
across this point, you will not be able to go back. It will reset the dungeon. At least that was what I experienced yesterday, and it was so, yeah, it was really annoying. Let's just put this back on. I'm just gonna check these. Oh, they're too small, aren't they? Good. Do we have anything at all we can use? Use the blazing skin, of course. This is probably the worst flight. Oh, it is, of course. It's down to the boss. Um, I will mainly, or plainly just wish you good luck. <laughs> you can, you know, land on ledges and platforms uh, on the growth here and there. Uh, and you, it will become evident as we go now. I'll just fly and show you. And, you know, get used to trimming your flight here a lot. Both up and down. And if this happens, you know, simply just jump, jump, jump. This is a terrible place. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, get up. Whoa, that was... Oh, lord. So you can just... No. We made it! <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's not that hard. Oh yeah, it is a bit hard once you try it, but yeah, you get better. And kind of remember the way. So let's just see if we can be lucky enough to get a few more useful items. Before we go into the boss fight. Got a revitalizing, that's good. Iron arrow. And just the last few here. And this one, I am gonna cheese this. Sorry, just just the way it is. I am not a purist, and it's just easier as a melee to do that. Over here, we have this area here. The green in the middle, it will do damage, so don't touch that. Uh, clear these few guys here first. Once you do that, two doors will open and two Cyclops will come out. And you won't, don't want to engage them. You just want to move back here. Uh, let's take the middle part first. And get these suckers out of the way. Nice swings, bro. Good. Doors open. Yeah, there they come. Move back. And we're gonna pick them off slowly. Oh, 
Or at least get them here so we have a bit of control over where the fight takes place. And if it gets out of hand, you know, just spare yourself. Oops. Not like that. Wow. Of course, make sure you have stamina first. Uh, let's see. Wrong place. Out of the way. They might even remain over there. Um, if we're lucky. So, you know, I'm not really too put down by dying. Did they move back? Oh, they're still there. Looks like. So, if the fight is becoming annoying, you know, just cheese it, cheese it here. Don't know if I can hit him, actually. He might be a bit... Oh. Oh my god, I didn't check my stamina once again. Sorry, guys. It's funny how you always spawn in and you turn this way when I actually want to go that, that way. It's a small thing, but it's uh, sometimes I've been you know, taken off in the wrong direction. They could change that, in my opinion. Well, let's get back up here. Make sure you have enough stamina. Almost. Yep. And let's get the head start here. And actually, now that I think about it, see if we can try avoid destroying the uh, the rations here, because they can become helpful once we engage the boss. Got him down. Okay, we're gonna put on this one. And what do we have left? We're only concerned about the ones on the one side. Oh. Yeah, that actually enraged the boss as well, which is fine. Unless he gets here too fast. He has a funny uh, pathway finding system. So we got the most guys out here. Boss is over there now. Really want the castles to go away, to be honest. Oh, let's just pull the boss. Okay. Kind of... Oh, I don't know. Oh, he fell down. Okay, so that's equally good. Or can be. I'll show you in a moment. Oops. No, he didn't fall down. Fall down. He just stays there. We're going to trick him and see if we can make him stuck. Because sometimes he does get stuck up here by the pillar, like there. Yep. That's fine, because then we can stand here. And you only move away when he does the ground thing. And here we can stay until he actually managed to get free and attack us. Let's see, we need to move away from this. And then we move back up. Eventually he will get through, unfortunately. But, oh, there we go. Wow, that was a lot of damage he did. I think he critted me, actually. <laughs> but he will remain there. And since we can't, probably can't get back over now without getting too close. Where is he? He's there. Okay. Full health. That's annoying.
I only got 67. And yeah, get some headshots or oh, eye shots. It would have been best to have well over 100 hours for this. Also, he did break through a lot earlier than he's done the other times. Uh, sometimes you can actually get him almost to half health by just standing there and warning him. Do we have any bone channel left? I think we did get some, didn't we? Come on, you boss. Okay, then we're gonna put this on, equip. Whoa, that almost went wrong. Ah, uh, out of range. I thought it needed less range. Okay. We thankfully have more arrows. Just another kind. And yeah, you might think, oh, this is silly and this is weak. You know, yeah, try taking on two Cyclops with minions at the same time solo. And see if you can do it faster. But you can't. <laughs> One more shot. Two more shots. There we go. That's the first guy. Oh, we got the sun hammer. But only as... Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there. 25 rare. So, yeah. Oh, my gear. I'm not allowed to take it now because he's lying on top of it. <sighs> that was annoying. Huh. Karma, I guess. Oh, well. One guy down. Another guy there. Let's see where is... Are his minions dead? Oh, we have a few over here. Come here, you. Where is he? Boss is right here. So basically, we, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same as we did with the single Cyclops in the other room. And uh, kite him back and forth over this bad area there by gliding. So you can just, you know, spend your first... Oh, he moves away. That's annoying. Oh no, that's one minion caught down below. And basically just wait for your man to get up. He will eventually charge you, so you might want to fly like that. <laughs> Come on, mana. This is why I wanted mana potions. But yeah, actually, you want to fly back towards the 
the vessels so they can catch up with him. And let them do the hard work. in damage yet. It's not so good. Need more mana. Bissons are overpowered, but I wish I had more mana. Um, let's see, do we have any potions yet? Nope. Whoa! We could go in here and check and see if we can find any by chance. back towards the vessels so they kind of he has to cross that path ah now it's working there we go oh bad choice bad choice bad choice Yeah, and again, if I had had the mana potions with me like I intended to, uh, I could have dropped like five or six vessels at the same time, and that would really have brought him down. So I suggest that's what you should do. Out that single one. <laughs> Whoops. Where did all my vessels go? Did I just press the lead by chance? What the heck? That's so weird. Come on, don't do that to me now. Okay, vessel down. And apparently I managed to destroy all my vessels, but we can just want the last of him. And jumping over those swings, so... These you have to really move. Oh, we got him now. Boss complete. 
They will spawn a few more here now. Um, oh, we got Scorching Wand. They are relatively easy to kill, but let's get in here. And check out some stuff. This is actually where I... Oh, it was in the other room, to be correct. Where I sat down by accident and then it crashed the game. Oh yeah, a bit silly. No sitting. Let me go to the other side. Avoiding the middle. Hello, little big be be beetle bug. We got the uh, Hawk Trice has already had them. Little Sickle Sky fell head and Strong Claw. Um, let's have a look here because I've recalled there being something of interest behind here. Yep. <laughs> How could I forget? Bone Scourge Maze, common 25. I mean, we are at the end boss. Why would you only put that in there, please? Please give more. Time to destroy these suckers. Yeah, nothing interesting. Well, guys, last room here is basically just. Oh, come on. Well, oh, okay, let's just do it the one way then. Goodbye. Oh yeah, these are just normal scourge type. Oops. Can hear you. Ah. Oh, we don't we need room for that? Always leave room for arrows. <laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> Again, this is just me farming for no obvious reason, but here we are at the magnificent end chest. Silver shot bow, 25, 25 power. Take it. Oh. Let's destroy... no, let's destroy the media crap here. And guys, that's it. Once you take this portal, you go back to the start and the resets are done. So, if you want to go back now and, and clean out over here, or just go through the stuff here, don't take the portal. Um, also, you should do all the small things first, like finding the material and all that. You can't go back, you know, go to the boss and then go back, because it will force a full respawn, at least that's what I've experienced. So I'm just gonna clear here first and then call it. 
what did what did I what did I run? But that is how you solo. Um Hello Holes and Kindle Wastes. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and have fun. Uh, all you need to do is basically just walk out again. Or to this point, and then you can port home. Well guys, thanks for coming by. And uh, I'll see you again in, in the next video. Okay, bye.